My name is Lloyd Edwards. I'm the owner, skipper and guard of Raggy Charters and I also run the Baywatch Marine Conservation Project which was started 30 years ago and is probably the oldest privately funded marine conservation project in Africa. So today we are on Bird Island in the eastern extremity of Algoa Bay and it's the centre of the Greater Addo Marine Protected Area. We are on a whale and dolphin viewing trip. Algoa Bay is probably one of the best places in the world to view whales and dolphins because of the huge diversity of species and the actual abundance of them. Algoa Bay is also known as the bottlenose dolphin capital of the world and we have about 28,500 dolphins that use the bay. So finding dolphins in our bay is a 99% hit rate. I'm Piri Tekosa and I'm a marine tour guide with Regi Tartus. So we see a lot of cetaceans, for example the Indo-Pacific bullnose dolphins. We also see a lot of migratory whales and penguins. In June 2021, Algoa Bay became the second site in South Africa to be awarded Whale Heritage Site status, a global accreditation scheme for responsible wildlife-friendly tourism experiences developed by the World Cetacean Alliance and supported by World Animal Protection. The Whale Heritage Site initiative is really, well it's a certification programme, that's the first thing we should say, but it's, it's about sites, it's about destinations and it's really about responsible tourism and particularly responsible, sustainable whale and dolphin watching tourism. We call it the gold standard for global whale watching. If you go to a whale heritage site you can be sure that the trip that you would take to see these animals really puts the animals first, it puts their welfare and their conservation first. That is a wonderful thing. It's critical for us to be accredited as a whale heritage site because tourists, they want to know that they are supporting tour operators that are looking after the interests of the whales and dolphins in their area. When they're with us, they can see that we've built up an amazing amount of knowledge in the last 24 years. Um, they can feel our passion. They know that we've got this great accreditation and it allows them to be more trustworthy in this and by the end of the day they get a much, much better experience. We view whale heritage sites as the future for whale and dolphin tourism really. You know, the days of going to see these animals in captivity and in confinement should be coming to an end. Captive whales and dolphins spend their entire lives in small barren tanks, performing unnatural and demeaning tricks in exchange for food. Dolphins are intelligent wild animals, and so their confinement in use and entertainment is highly unethical. You're going to learn nothing about these animals in a tank. You're not seeing them behaving normally, you're not seeing the environment that they live in. Instead, why not go to a whale heritage site where the people really care about these animals and that is obvious. We know that the years of having dolphins and other cetacean species and things in captivity is becoming a thing of the past and we're progressing. We, why not come and see them in a natural habitat that is not uh, manufactured by training? The difference between seeing a whale and a dolphin in captivity and in the wild is absolutely huge. When you see it in the wild, you see it at work in its natural day, interacting with each other, fighting with each other, playing with each other, surfing the waves. It's incredible to see the, the, the speed at which they can move. They, they're so alive, they're so intelligent, they're so in tune with nature. I like watching the visitors because to see the expression on their faces is absolutely incredible. And with dolphins, they just never get tired of them. Today was a beautiful day in Algoa Bay and uh, it was a tremendous uh, event. Dolphins are such a beautiful, beautiful animal and we saw them diving out of the waves and the catching waves. The dolphins are always the highlight of this trip.